Hi Flosstube, I'm Sally. I'm Stitchy Sally here on YouTube and also over on Instagram. Uh, today is the 29th of March 2023 and this is Flosstube number 47. A very warm welcome to my channel which is about cross stitch. Um, it's lovely to have you here whether you are a returning viewer or a new one. Um, welcome to you all. Uh, I do have quite a bit to show you today so I'm going to just get on with it basically. Um, so I'm going to start with my book of days. Um, I like to kind of try and show it maybe at the end of the month or the beginning of the month or whatever. So that's filled in up to now. Um, so as you can see I've stitched every day some days I've stitched on more than one thing if I've managed to get um, maybe half an hour to an hour on Guardian. And I've got my new starts down this side. So that's March. I've not got stickered up for April yet because obviously it's not April yet. <laughs> I don't want to wish my life away. Um, so I have a couple of FFOs. Um, so I have this one, which is, sorry I'm knocking the table, um, Barbara Anna Designs Dancer, which I stitched for the um, seasonal sal for winter. Um, so just a simple hoop finish, stitched in DMC in the um, splash fabric. And I've just backed it with felt and a, a 20-23 charm. I just need to get some ribbon out um, so I can hang it up. So I'm really, really pleased with that one. So I'm intent on just leaving her up, I think, all year, rather than uh, putting her away. And then my next FFO is this one, which is Modern Folk Embroidery, The Moonshine Cabin, um, which was my birthday start for last year. Um, and I stitched this on 32 count charcoal grey Murano using the DMC conversion on the chart. I think I did swap, what did I swap? I think I swapped the white stitching but I can't remember what it was. And I, did I know? I can't even remember what I swapped it to, whether it was B5200, 3865 <laughs> or white. <laughs> So again, just backed with some felt and a 2023 charm on. Um, I did mess up with this one because I got it all laced and then realised I hadn't put any any wadding in. I'd cut some wadding and not put it in. So, but it's fine. <laughs> and again, just got to pop um, a ribbon or something on so that I can hang it. So I'm really pleased with those two finishes. I do still have a few to go at. Um, but it is what it is. <laughs> I've got to be in the right frame of mind and if I'm not there's no point in doing it because I'll just make a mess. Um, so I have three three finishes? Yes, three finishes. Um, so oh, sorry, I'm getting in a bit of a mess here. In a pile. Um, so my first finish is sorry Sorry for the crinkling, I should have taken this out before I started. Um, so my first finish is from this book and it's The Bells on Christmas Day. And it's this one here, uh, The Unbroken Song. Now I'm just going to finish it as a, a pillow I think when I, when I fully finish it because we can't get these boxes over here. And for me to get one of these from the States it would probably cost um, more than the box itself to get it shipped over so I'm not I'm just not gonna bother um so this is my finish and it's stitched on 36 count fibre on a whim cafe au lait and I've used a mixture of the called for and the DMC conversion from the chart um and I think last time you saw it I just had I think this motif here my initials in the year finish the border and then um, the D and the G. Is that D and the G? Yes, it's a D and a G. I'm looking at it backwards. Can't read backwards. 
Um, so yeah, really, really pleased with that. So yeah, hopefully um, I'll get my sewing machine out at some point and get that finished. And that's it now. I've, I've stitched what I wanted out of this book. So that will be going away. Um, and then my next finish, um, and I don't have the threads out for these anymore, so um, it's this one, it's uh, Tra La La, oh sorry for the glare, and it's Do Sir Diva. Um, and this was my Friday night sheep stitch with my lovely friend Barb. We stitch sheep on a Friday night. Um, so this was charted for Atelier threads. Um, and it does give a, give a conversion on the back for classic colour works and gentle arts, but I did it in the DMC um, conversion, which is inside the chart. Um, so I stitched this on 32 count vintage country mocker. And there you have it. So I did, last time I saw you, um, I can't remember what I got done, but I know I stitched extra on this just to try and get it finished. Um, and when I picked it up last Friday, I still had all these snowflakes to do in here. Well, let me tell you, they took longer than I expected. But it's done, and I really, really like it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Really, really love it. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to finish it. I think I quite like to frame it, but frame it so that I can swap this out for the other seasons well I say the other seasons there's only two others she hasn't done I think it's a summer one she's not done a summer one yet and I'm still hoping that she will do one so yeah so come on YouTube can I please have this as my screenshot <laughs> can I please have a screenshot where I'm not pulling a stupid face or have a double chin I do have a double chin, but, you know. So, that is that one. It's gone really, really dull here now. I think it's going to rain. <clears throat> and then my final finish is this one. Again, glare. Um, and it's from the Heart Needle Art December Quaker, which is my second piece for my six for 60 birthday starts for this year. Um, I've picked out six designs um, to stitch up to my 60th birthday. I'm not bothered if I get them all finished before, but the idea is up, up to, <laughs> at the latest. Um, and I'm also, I also stitched this as part of the Year of Quakers 2023 Sal, um, hosted by Amanda Alba Stitcher. I was debating whether to do the rest of them, but I don't think I will. I've been feeling a little bit snowed under of late with my stitching, so I think snowed under, she says, with barely any whips, but so this is my finish. And I've stitched this on 36 count platinum linen by Zweigart. And I used the call for threads, which were classic colour works. steamed broccoli and cherry cobbler and um, thank you to Amanda who sent me the steamed broccoli um, so that I could stitch this so really pleased with that one as well again not sure how I'm going to finish it um, I shall probably frame it um, I don't know, I have thought I might make a bit of a display um, with with all six of my birthday starts once I've got them done and everything, but just where, <laughs> where I will display them, I do not know. Uh, right, so because I have had some finishes, um, well I say because I've had some finishes, I've had one, two, two new starts. Um, but one of those wasn't because I'd finished any of those, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So I started this, 
which is Blackbird Designs Yellow Submarine. And this is my Saturday night BBD stitch with lovely Lainey. Um, wasn't quite sure last time I filmed what I was going to start once I'd finished um, the Unbroken Song. And then I saw somebody on the Blackbird Designs group, I think, or was it? Or was it on Instagram? We'd finished this. Uh, and it just looked absolutely fantastic. So I thought, right, that's it. That's what I'm going to start. So I am using a mixture of the Cold For and DMC. But I have swapped out... Uh, Mountain Mist was one of the ones I'm using. I have to get it out the back. I'm using Tropical Ocean. And then I swapped out Pomegranate because I didn't have a lot of Pomegranate left for Rhubarb. But I'm just not quite so sure about the Rhubarb. I've got a little bit stitched, but I'm not sure. So I, I'm stitching this on 40 count Here Be Dragons by Sparklies. It's only a little bit washed out actually there. I think I could probably do to turn my ring light down a little bit. But um, So yeah, that's where I've got so far. And I do really, really like the look of this already. I so said, not too sure about the rhubarb. That's the rhubarb here and in the in those bits there. Um, but it should be okay. I don't think it's in quite a lot. Quite so much of it, I don't think. Although no, looking at that, there is quite a bit. But anyway, um, I'm probably going to have to pick out the best bits because some of it is quite light and it may well not show up against some of the other threads. So that is one of my new starts. So then you may, may remember last time that I had started um, Sea Dandelion by Barbara Anna Designs just until um, I started the um, the spring design for the seasonal cells. So I will show you Sea Dandelion actually first while I think on because I didn't think I'd done any more since I last filmed and I have. So there's Sea Dandelion and she is from the 2021 20, Summer PMPS magazine. And I'm stitching her on the Call for 32 count charcoal grey fabric using um, the DMC threads and there she is so yeah I have got more done <laughs> you know when time goes by so fast and you think did I didn't I uh, but yeah there she is so this has now gone away and once I've finished uh, the seasonal piece I'll bring her out again and see if I can get her finished um, because you know Famous last words. This shouldn't take me too long. So this is my new start for the seasonal cell. And again, it's Barbara Anna Designs because my seasonal pieces are all going to be Barbara Anna. And this is Spring in My Heart. And it's from the 2020 spring issue of Punch, Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. And I'm stitching this Those are some of the threads anyway. And I'm stitching it on 32 count vintage country, no, vintage sun. Vintage sun? I think it's vintage sun by Zweigart. And you can just, you can just see some of the mottling on there. You can see the little bunnies there. Very, very cute bunnies. So I'll be stitching on this again tonight. 
and I do like this fabric I wish they did it in um, 36 count as well but I don't well I haven't been able to find it so I'm assuming that they don't So those are my two new starts. And onto some whips. So my first whip is Yasmin's Made with Love, The Uniqueness of Others, this glorious peacock. I should give him a name really. Lizzie, Lizzie Fisher, she named hers Patrice. It's a very, very fine name. Uh, yes, so uh, that is my first whip that I'd like to show you. And I'm doing this as part of the Yaz Marathon Sal, hosted by Ros Clark Crafts. And these are the threads. I've just got a crew missing because no, I've got a crew and eight, eight nine eight, maybe. Can't actually remember, but I know a crew is in pink house sampler. It's in with the threads for pink house sampler, and a certain somebody named Abby has the other one. So there is my progress and doesn't he look amazing? I mean honestly just look at these colours and that is on the 32 count Stormy Skies by Zwagat. It's a Murano and I'm using uh, the DMC on the chart. Just everything that Yaz um, charted. So yeah, I think it is absolutely gorgeous. So I was, what I was going to do was just do all the outline. I think it's eight, I can't remember, I think it's 820 or, yeah, 820 I think. I was going to do all the outlines and then do the filling. And I thought, no, I want to do some of this. <laughs> so I did. And then I went back to doing the outlines. So... Love him, absolutely love him. And then my next whip is this one Blackbird Designs Quaker Garden. And this is my Tuesday night stitch with uh, Barb and Mouse. This is out of print. So I'm stitching this in mostly the called for. My <laughs> very, very messy, me messy, messy, messy. <laughs> called for bundle. I'm not using that one. Um, I've just left it on there. I'm using chalk instead of that one. And I'm stitching this on 40 count vintage country mocker. And there we have it. And I just love this. It's such a joy to stitch, even though I did make a mistake on it. <laughs> and have to unpick a little bit down here. So the bed, the bed is actually uh, too low down too low down I think so but even if this side goes right you're not going to be able to tell unless you look very very closely at it um, so yeah I've um, I don't know what I've done since I last last um, last filmed actually I think I did it across this top I've done down this side I think I've done these letters here and this I don't know whether it's a butterfly or a moth, actually. Does anybody know whether it's a butterfly or a moth? Does it tell me? Is it the feather? 
Do you know, I could have sworn that I saw something in here that actually told you about what was on, what was on the chart, but I must have been dreaming. <laughs> At least it wasn't a nightmare. <clears throat> because I do have nightmares and I do scream and frighten the whole house to death and probably my neighbours as well. <laughs> I think I have a problem with my brain. Uh, right, next whip is... Oh, and I forgot to say, actually, um, yeah, my Barbara Anna, I do Wednesday, uh, Wednesday night Barbara Anna Sal with my lovely stitch friend Sally at Flossy Sews and Grace. Sorry, Sally. I totally forgot about you there, didn't I? So sorry. Um, so yeah, this one is Pink House Sampler by Plum Street Samplers. Uh, also affectionately known as Big Ass Pink, Sam Pink House Sal. Um, which I am stitching with um, lovely Elaine from Ellie Wally Stitcher. We started this on New Year's Day. Um, Elaine, she started with the border and it looks absolutely beautiful as well. Absolutely beautiful. Far, and I, I hate to say this, but far, far nicer than the, than the cover photo, to be honest. Um, so I am stitching this one over one on 25 count vintage country mocker using DMC conversion from the chart. Um, and I'm still on that house <laughs> because it's a big ass house. And there we are. So as you can see, I am just, I've been filling in the windows. I just got a bit bored of filling in the windows so I filled in all the pink brickwork, if you like, um, and then I've come up here to start this part of the house at this side. Is it an, what do you call it, an annex or what? I don't really know. Um, but I really do love this. I, I did honestly think I would have been bored of it by now, but um, yeah, it's going really, really nicely doesn't show up particularly well on camera. It shows up much better in real life. But yeah, really, really enjoying that. I am quite looking forward to getting away from the house and just going on to something different, but I don't want to do that until I've got the house done. Um, because I probably not want to go back to it. <laughs> and it isn't going to look right with an unfinished house, is it? Excuse me a minute, I'll just have a quick drink. So, because I'd finished my December Quaker and um, I'll talk about something that I'm wanting to start in plans, but it's, it's not gonna be started just yet. I pulled out um, the piece I started for Black Sampler in November last year, which is this one. And it stitches through the years Black Sampler. And this is uh, a freebie. Um, I don't think I've got the link in my, in the description, the drop down description box now. Um, but I'll, put, I'll try and remember to put it back there. And then if you want to go and download it, you can do. Um, so, I'm stitching this in 310 and I'm using 25 count vintage marble by Zwagas, just one over one. So I'd I was up to, I think I just started the hitch when I put it away at the end of November. So I've got the rest of the hitch done, and then G-F-E-D-C. So I'm gonna bring that out again on Sunday, I think, and uh, just get a bit more done, and then it might go away again for a bit longer, which is very unlike me. I don't like putting things away. I wasn't planning on putting this away for quite as long as I have. 
Um, I was hoping to bring it back out again in January and then again a little bit snowed under with everything and didn't bring it back out. So I'll just get a little bit more done on that uh, on Sunday. Uh, right, final whip. Um, I wasn't planning on showing this every floss tube but I will just see show you where I'm at with this. Um, so since I started this again, I have stitched for, I've stitched on it for, I think it was 38 days up to now. So I've, I have missed a few, but as long as I'm, I'm not putting it back away. Um, so for those that are new, this is Heaven and Earth Designs Guardian, the black and white version. Um, I started this back in April 2007. Yes, I'm very ashamed. Um, and it just ended up getting put, put, I lost interest in it. And then just all of a sudden I thought, I'm going to work out how many stitches I need to do a day um, to get it finished in a couple of years if I, if I can. So if I do 100 stitches a day, I can finish it in two years. Uh, so when I picked it up again, I had this, there was this partial page here. So I finished that, I had that page to finish. So I finished that and I started on this page here. And I don't know, you can't really see it very well because obviously it's, it's uh, very light colors on light fabric. Um, I've just got some bits to do in here and in here. So I say I'm trying to get at least 100 stitches in. Some days I am doing more, which that's fine because that makes up for the days that I don't pick it up. So like I say, I've not missed too many days, but it's, um, it's when I don't manage to get sat down. I like to sit down in an afternoon um, and just do 100 or even maybe a few more. Um, but as I say, there's some days that I just don't get it done. I might not get it done today because obviously I'm I'm filming this afternoon because things happened this morning that meant I didn't get filmed this morning. Uh, just pop that one down there. So I am having uh, a new start this Friday for the sheep sale that I do with Barb. And... Um, this is one of my six for 60 birthday starts. Um, see, Lainey, Lainey's doing this, um, the six for 60. And lovely Kim, Contented Needleworker Kim. Uh, she's joining us, joining us as well. And um, Deb Wilson, she also asked if she could join in because she's 60 this year as well. So. Um, there's a, there's a few of us, so I've got I have actually got the rest of my six for sixty in here. So if you haven't seen them before, I'll show you them very very quickly. So we have with my needle, oops, sampler maker. We have Artie uh, Warmth in Palms because I adore Robins. Just in case you didn't know, I adore Robins. My Robin sweatshirt. I have my Robin earrings in. So yeah, that's that one. And then, whoops, it's upside down. And then this from, this drum here from Maria Selby Humphrey, 1831. Because that's what made me want this booklet. So there's the rest of my six for 60. Still trying to find something to start for my actual 60th. Um, so these are some of the threads that I'm using. And this is in my, I'm keeping these in my lovely, lovely bag that Jo Booze Mummy made for me. And she also made me a needle, uh, a needle, a plus. A floss keep as well. So this is what I'm going to start and it stitches through the year's strawberry harvest. I don't 
know if you can see there, sheep and little sheep there. So at the moment, uh, Lana has got three of these out this um, winter, autumn, and this one obviously is summer. So I'm hoping that she'll bring a spring one out so that there's a set of four. And they're not, they're not too badly sized actually these. Um, she stitches them on 40 count and they work out at just under six by six when they're stitched. So I'm using um, 40 count vintage country mocker because that is my favorite fabric. So that is going to be my start on Friday. And then um, I was watching Beth, the steadfast stitcher, who, ah, oh, I forgot to put those away. Um, who is also 60 this year, but she is doing 60 new starts. Um, yeah, I couldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't, but hats off to anybody that can do that many new starts. I mean, no, obviously Lee, creatively, she did 50 last year for her 50th. Um, yeah, so she was talking about um, starting this one, um, which is Needlework Press and Be Kind to One Another, which I purchased when it came out. I don't know, was it last year or was it the year before? I can't actually remember. Um, and she's starting this with Mary, who is Daydream Stitcher. And they're starting it on Easter Sunday. And uh, Beth said, if anybody would like to join in, they'd be very welcome. So I said, I think I might, I might actually join you because I, I just love this piece. In fact, I want to do there's um, Be Exceedingly Diligent, I think it's called. And then there's a new one that's just come out at Nashville called Be Kind. And um, I do want to stitch all three eventually. I don't have the other two, but I do want to stitch them all eventually. Um, so I've, I've kitted, I'm going to use the DMC um, apart from one. I've kitted it up. They're not all there um, because some of them are in other projects. But I did have um, one of the Cold Forties Classic Colour Works Yield Gold. So I did have some of that, so I'm going to use um, that. I've got a couple of skeins, so hopefully that'll be enough. Um, possibly to do all three, eventually. <laughs> um, but I was kind of, I've been umming and ahhing about the fabric. Um, and I thought, oh, maybe I'll do it at 40 count, maybe I'll do it at 36 count. And then I'm sure Beth said she was doing hers on 25 count. And I thought, hmm, I like the idea of that because then it just makes it a little bit smaller. Um, and unfortunately, the 25 count that I have in my stash, one, I didn't have enough. And then the, the fat quarter that I had, I didn't like the threads against it. So this is actually stitched on Vintage Country Mocker. So I have ordered myself some 25 count vintage country mocker. Um, in fact, I've ordered it enough to do all three. Um, I should be able to get two, the, the two sort of long thin ones on a fat quarter. And then I just got a fat quarter for the other one as well. So unfortunately, Stitch, Stitch from Stash has not gone quite so well this month, but that's fine. It's not charts. I haven't bought charts, so. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm looking forward to starting that. Um, and the hashtag, I think, is Be Kind Easter Sal. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to that one. Right, what else have we got? Um haul. I just have one piece. Well, I say one piece of haul. It's, well it is all, it's my um, fabric, March Fabric of the Month from, sorry for the crinkling, uh, Coffee Craft Fabrics and I get 36 count even weave in 13 by, size 13 by 18. 
uh, the neutrals. I'm in the neutrals club. So that is the match one. It's a really nice piece of fabric actually. I don't know what I'll stitch on it. Possibly something wintry or autumn maybe. But yeah, I like that. I've been really pleased actually with, with the three pieces that I've got up to now. So I'll put that back later to save you listening to a load of crinkly. Um, and then uh, you may remember me mentioning last time um, that I'd watched Yasmin's Made with Love in the morning and I'd found out that I'd um, won one of her giveaways. So this is the chart that I won, a printed copy of her own design, it's called Never Forget. And I just, I just absolutely love this. Just everything about it. And it says on it, never forget the difference you make. And I think that's something that we all do try to, need to try to remember. And not only did Yaz send me this chart, she also sent me, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn this around here and then put them on the back, these absolutely beautiful threads from Tom and Lily. Melanie, oops, sorry, Tom and Lily. <laughs> I'm not very good at this, am I? So there we go. Oh! Get in there. <laughs> And I just think these are absolutely beautiful. They're not they're not showing up fantastic. They are washing out a little bit. Um, but yeah, they're absolutely lovely. So thank you so much, Yaz. Really, really like these. And I'm going to use them in the chart. And she also sent me a lovely card as well with some lovely words inside it, written inside. So what I'm thinking about doing is depending on how I go with everything that I'm stitching and what have you, depending on what else I'm doing. I am thinking about the, making this my 1st of July new start. I like to have a new start on the 1st of January and the 1st of July. So if, say, if I'm doing okay with what I'm stitching and I've got a slot in my rotation, I, I do want to start this. So if you have this and you would like to start it with me, um, sort out a hashtag um, but if not that's fine start it on my own so thank you so so much Yaz absolutely love the chart love the threads and like I say I am going to incorporate those threads into that chart right um, oh dear I think this is going to be a bit of a long one today I do I do apologise um, so Sorry, I'm just checking, just checking my notes just to make sure that I haven't missed anything. So I think what I will do now is um, my giveaway, my thousand subscriber giveaway, um, which is <laughs> a few weeks after I hit a thousand subscribers. But anyway, um, I think I'm at 1,106 now. So that's quite a surprise because I expected to hit a thousand and then just kind of stop. So uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much to everybody. Um, so I was hoping that I could make this a worldwide giveaway, but unfortunately, I don't know how, what the postage will be on these and plus Royal Mail are, I believe from the 1st of April, putting the prices up again. So, I'm, I'm really sorry, I'm going to have to say UK only and I, I feel really bad because I know there are quite a few people um, from outside of the UK who watch me and um, so what I may do, I'm, I'm going to have to look into it and see what I can do, um, is um, see if I can have a PDF giveaway for overseas and then you're not missing out. Um, so I have two giveaways, these are not sponsored in any way. Um, I have paid for these myself. So the first one is the New Prairie School of Santa, the 2023 Santa. 
and I will include most of the threads. There is one missing because that wasn't in stock and also a piece of 18 count. I'm not quite sure what it is. I don't think it's exactly the call for but it's very similar. Um, so if you would like to win that please use the word Santa. That's S-A-N-T-A -A, Santa. And then the other one is Pansy, there, Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery. And it is Tea Garden Pin Pillow. Now this is actually charted for the um, for Trainway Silks, but I can't afford to buy those. So I have included the DMC conversions. Uh, now there is actually only four, thre four threads, I believe. Um, but um, the conversion for one of the threads, it's either 25 or 27. So I've included both of those and then you can make your own choice as to which one you want to use. So if you would like to win this one, please use the word T, T-E-A-T. -E so again, this one, use the word Santa, S-A-N-T-A, -A, and this one, use the word T, T-E-A. And again, I'm really sorry that it's UK only, but um, yeah, <laughs> it's just getting a bit silly. I know it's getting silly everywhere now, um, but we're certainly feeling it here in the UK with everything. So yeah, um, usual rules apply. Do not use the word giveaway, contest, competition, etc., etc. You need to be over 18 so that I can ask for your email. Uh, your snail mail address, not your email address, your snail mail address. Um, I'm hoping to be back in two weeks and I will pick a winner then. Um, I would like you to be a subscriber, uh, if possible, please. Um, where I will announce the winner in my next floss tube. I will not reply to a comment to tell you that you've won because there are some scammers about so if if you get um, a reply to any comments on my floss tubes where it says you have won please follow this link please don't because they are scammers um, so yeah um, hope you'll enter and again I am sorry to my overseas viewers I will try and try and do something um, for you um, in another in another video. So that's that. Uh, right, what else have we got? Um, yeah, I just want to say some thank yous to some people who have shouted me out recently. Um, there was um, Lynn, the Lancashire Stitcher, gave me a mention in her last floss tube. Um, and then there was um, Lisa Lost in Stitches, who gave me a shout out um, I shouted her out in my last one and she gave me a shout out as well um, and then there is CLU High Heeled Stitcher Charlotte, uh, she gave me a lovely shout out in her latest floss tube thank you so much Charlotte um, and then uh, a new to me floss tuber who had watched my last one and commented um, that's Sir Stitch Sir Nat um, she gave me a lovely shout out in her latest floss tube as well. And finally, um, Lindsay, Wolfy Stitches. Um, she's, we've just recently started following each other on Instagram. Um, and she gave me a lovely, a lovely shout out on her Instagram story. So thank you so much, Lindsay. That really meant a lot. It really, really did. So thank you to all of you. Um, and I've, if I've missed anybody, I do apologise. Um, so if you've shouted me out any time over the last couple of weeks, thank you, thank you so, so much. And just give me a nudge <laughs> if I've missed anybody. Um, so I'm just going to do a very, very quick... Um, sorry, just checking my battery status. It looks like it's getting a bit low. And I did. I did a fully charge my laptop. 
but of course it's running my light and it's running my microphone so i just want to give a very very quick shout out some shout outs to some floss tubers who are under a thousand subs um so yeah please please do go and um give these floss tubers some love if you can i know there's a lot out there and i know we can't watch them all it's it's an impossibility to watch everybody but as i said these are all under a thousand subs and they do deserve um some love so first of all there is deb wilson uh, deb is in australia lovely lovely lady um stitches some fantastic things um long dogs mirabilias smaller pieces um yeah lovely lovely lady um and then there is cross stitch therapy with gracie i mean i'm sure you all a lot of you will know gracie already um she stitches some gorgeous things she is such a joy to watch so so lovely it's just like well i i i think sitting down and watching floss tube is like sitting down with a friend anyway um but yeah gracie is just she's just fantastic love her to bit she's great um and then there is cardiff stitcher danielle who i know i've shouted out before but i'm going to shout her out again um she stitches quite a lot of full coverage um i'm trying to think what else she's been doing and i can't damn well remember this is when i should make notes proper notes isn't it and say notes to myself should i say to remind myself um so yeah she did she's uh, recently shown a a horse one that she did for her daughter for a birthday and that's that's is amazing so yeah go and go and give danielle some love and then um already mentioned a new to me um is natalie and that is sir stitch sir nat um so i've just watched her latest floss tube last week i think it was she's lovely so lovely um uh yes yeah, so go give her a watch as well lots of lovely projects um and then finally again dawn frosty x stitch dawn does a lot for our community for the stitching community She's arranging um, a retreat with Amy. Amy J Creations. Jesus Christ, Amy, I am so sorry. I <laughs> I forgot your floss tube name then. Yeah, so she's arranging uh, a retreat in Switzerland, Basel in Switzerland. She does a lot for the Under A Thousand Subs Club. Um, and although she's not bothered about getting to a thousand she's quite happy where she is i would just really really love it if we could get her some more subscribers some more viewers even and um, because she doesn't get enough viewers either so yeah so those are my floss tube shout outs for this month for the, this month this week this fortnight um yes yeah, so i think that is about it uh, apart from it was mother's day here in the uk um not last Sunday, the Sunday before. Um, I got some lovely cards from my two girls. And uh, Jess, she bought me um, the expansion pack for Mario Kart on the Switch, Nintendo Switch. Um, I haven't played it much, to be honest, but I have had great fun. What I have played, it made me smile. And believe me, I have needed <laughs> something to make me smile for the past few weeks. Nothing major, just just that, you know, just feeling that way out. Whether I can blame my hormones, I do not know. <laughs> Menopause, who the hell knows? But anyway, yeah, so Jess bought me that. Um, so I now have a license to drive like a maniac and throw things at other drivers, which is great. Um, and Abby, she bought me a, a Mandalorian t-shirt, which I absolutely love. And I've had it on. It's been cold, so I've had to. I've had a thermal on underneath it. <laughs> 
just so that I could um, I could wear it now. So right, that is everything because otherwise I am going to waffle like a maniac and then my battery will probably go flat. So again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the lovely comments that you leave and thank you for subscribing. You know, whether you've been subscribed from the beginning or whether you're a recent subscriber, I appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you so, so much. So um, I will hopefully see you in two weeks. My husband's on holiday that week, but I will just send him in another room, I think. Um, we're hoping to get out a little bit that week if the weather's decent uh, but yeah hopefully I will see you in a couple of weeks if not it might be a month um, but I'll see what I can do like I said I'll just stick him in front of the TV in the other room he'll be fine um, so yeah I will see you next time thank you so so much for watching take care everybody stay safe and get plenty of stitching done see you later everybody bye bye